All right, now we're gonna take care of this printer table. We already had this plugged in from before, but we wanna make sure that the power is on. And you'll know it's on. You see we have no power here. So we need to make sure that our power strip is turned on. Okay, so the power strip was off. So now we, we have it on, you can see that there is the light on the printer. Green light means that it's ready to go. Flashing orange means we have a problem, okay? Inside here, we have the paper box and we have the ribbon. The paper rolls are in the black bin and the ribbons are in the printer bin. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this cartridge right out with this orange button. Pops this right out. This is like a clamshell. If you push this orange one, it opens right up. You'll see there's no paper in here. That's why it's flashing orange. So I'm gonna go into this black uh, bin here. And this is the paper roll. All right, so the green and gray should already be attached to the paper roll. You'll find this inside the black bin where you find all the wires, keyboard, mouse, all your markers and stuff. Um, but if it's not, if it comes apart, there's only one way to put it. This has two notches. You'll see there are two notches on this side. This one has two and one for three. So you're just gonna look and you'll see the grooves. So now we have to put this into the printer. You'll see in here there's green and there's gray. You're just gonna match those up. They just slide right in. You're gonna pull some paper out and go ahead and close that. You just close it right on top of it. And then you're gonna wheel the paper back right before the lip here. Make sure it's behind it, not sticking out. And then you're gonna put this right back in. And it just snaps right in. The ribbon should be all set. If it runs out at any time, you can just push that button, this white button here. This is the cartridge. If you need a new ribbon, you just pop these out. And the replacement ones are in the printer box. You'll see there are replacement ones in here. They're very delicate, so you have to be very careful with them. Inside this cardboard is another one of these plastic uh, shells here. You have to make sure you keep this. this you reuse this over and over again. So we're going to snap this back in. There's only one way to put these in. There's a longer, one's longer than the other. There's only one way to put them in. They snap right in. There's a little hole here and it snaps in. And then they put this one in the hole here and it snaps in. And you'll see this is all bunched up. You just wheel it. Make sure it's nice with no slack on it. And then you just slide it right in. Again, this will only go in one way. You see it won't go in this way. Only one way to put it in. It has an arrow here showing it goes in. Push it. And when you close this, it should turn green. If it doesn't turn green, you have a problem. That means you may have to go ahead and pop this out, realign it. But for the most part, if it's green, you're ready to go. You can put that back into position. One thing about the paper ribbon is they're a pair. Think of them as mother and daughter. They do not go anywhere without the other one. So if you get an alert on the computer that says that the paper's out, you're gonna change the paper and ribbon. New paper, new ribbon. Throw those away. If it says ribbon's out, same thing. Paper and ribbon out at the same time, new ones in at the same time. They come as a pair, keep them together. Doesn't matter how much paper is left if the ribbon associated with it is out, you're changing them both. Never change one and not the other. Um, if for some reason you have a malfunction and it rips, you can keep those, put them aside and make a note that they didn't run out, something went wrong with them. Again, keep them together, make a note of it, 
and I can fix those afterwards or you can refer to the troubleshooting section on how to fix those uh, issues. Next we're going to go into uh, the scrapbook. Each guest gets a scrapbook. You'll see that their logo is on the front typically. It has pages in it, blank pages, where you're going to print an extra copy of each photo strip. It gets glued into the book here and the guest can write a handwritten message alongside of it. So we're going to put this book up here. We're going to take the pages out and what you do is you lay them out here on the scrapbook table. I like to do three across, take them all out, but we'll do three for this here. So when the next one comes out, we're going to glue it. So we need some markers. I'm going to grab the markers and some glue, and you're just going to glue the back of the photo strip, press it down firmly, advise them to write. We're also going to give them a business card that tells them how to go online the next business day to see all the photos and videos online as well. So we'll put a stack of those cards right on top of the printer. And next step is to test the booth out in its entirety.